Hello everybody. So this clip that you're about to see is such a cute clip I thought in my opinion um, that I had to share with everybody. Um, if you get grossed out by bodily fluids or burps and farts, anything like that, um, please either fast forward or maybe click away. Um, but it's a video of my little and I just thought it was too cute and funny not to post. Um, so viewers discretion is advised. Look at these little cute toesies. You got the cutest little toesies in the world. Oh, thanks for... <laughs> I'm trying to show off your cute toes and you decide to fart, stinky. Looking crazy, but multitasking today. I'm going to make something to eat for us and some peas for the littles. And some... Um, baby carrots we're gonna try them on so I'm gonna put it in this here and then blend it up and then draw it up so we have something to eat for them when we go to my mom's house and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for breakfast lunch by the time we finish all this I kind of want some noodles it's like 38 degrees out and it's only gonna be cold. I don't like the cold, so yeah. That's what's happening so far this morning. Okay, so. Previously in the video, you'll see that I put this on, I put some water in it, and then I hit steam, and it said 20. I didn't put it in there for 20. I put it in there for like five minutes because, or as soon as it like, it, um, the air pressure put got into it, it pretty much cooked them really quickly. And I don't want to cook them to oblivion because I want the nutrients to still be in it. So once it starts, the timer starts, do not put it in there for 20 minutes. You will kill these peas. Um, so just put them in there for like five minutes, so let them kind of steam a little bit, and then take it out, because you see how it's still nice and vibrant and green? This would have been mush, mush, like, no nutrients whatsoever going into your baby, so do not put them in there that long. Um, I'm gonna kind of test out the carrots, too, and I'll let you guys know, but do not put this in there for 20 minutes, or just put them in there, yeah, five minutes, check on them, see if they're nice and vibrant and green like this. And then take them out. I guess it's all going in the medium pot. Doesn't matter. There you go. Baby carrots. Oh. <laughs> So we are headed out to my mom's house. Um, I won't be vlogging in there because I'm not sure if anyone will feel comfortable being in the vlog. Maybe besides my sister because we talked about it. But um, we're just going to go visit their Oma and Opa. Sorry, no, their Nana Pop Pop because that's my parents. His parents are Oma and Opa. But uh, see you guys in a little while. So I'm making myself some mushroom coffee before we go. I usually use this other coffee, but I don't have any, so this is a backup. I'm going to put some mushroom coffee in here with some MCT oil. And then I make a little, it tastes kind of like a caramel uh, chocolate type thing, like salted caramel. So I put a little bit of Himalayan salt in there with some nutmeg and then, and then I also put some almond creamer in there Thank you. 
quick stop at the gas. Oh god, I just poked my eye out. But we're making a quick stop at the gas station because I am thirsty and um, I like those little nectar drinks that one of these gas stations sell. So my husband ran in. Why well, I have a little munchkin sitting there in the car? Um, I'm. You'll notice that when I'm out a lot. I mean, I'm supposed to be wearing my glasses 24/7, but I like don't. I, I don't know why. But when I'm out, I do wear my glasses because um, when I was pregnant, for some reason, my eyesight had gotten really, really, really bad. It's still kind of bad. I'm supposed to change my script soon. But um, my eyesight was is, is crazy. And then it, it, it just kind of got worse closer to the end of my pregnancy. And it hasn't gotten better since. Just a, maybe a smidge, I would say. But um, I did find out or hear that like when you're breastfeeding your um eyesight is it's still bad because of the hormones and stuff that uses to produce um breast milk but um when i'm done breastfeeding that it should go back to normal so i guess it's just going to be bad for a long time because i am not i don't plan on stopping breastfeeding anytime soon um or until i dry up out of nowhere so all right see you guys later on in the video this is my mama's Christmas tree. She got the Christmas village. It's so exciting Look and how sad big. at the same time. Look it's how nice it is. So I want you to grow this I one's pretty. I love this one. How you doing? I the like one it. with the deer. I love all of them. This one. What's your That's buddy? my favorite. I'll look at. Huh? What's your buddy? This is a gorgeous tree. Mm -hmm. Sleepy. This puts our tree to oh, shame. You sleepy me. What do we have here, Mama? We have eleven. Be no, sixteen beans. Right here. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen beans. Sixteen beans. That looks so good. And then we got some cornbread. Buttery cornbread. Alright, I'm burning the hell up. Tis not lost in on the open fire. Jack fast nipping at your nose. Your tie cows being sung by your cry and folk. Dress up like Eskimo. Everybody knows a ducky and some mistletoe. Have to make the season bright. Tiny dots with the eyes all aglow. next clip I'm going to show you guys is a clip that works for me um, anything that I show you in this video just so you know 
is what works best for me, myself, and my children. So if you decide to take any of these items or feed your children any of the things that I show you in my videos, please know that you're doing this at your own risk. Thank you and thank you for watching. So me and my husband take nighttime meds, I mean not, not meds, vitamins. Um, so I wanted to show you the liquid vitamins that we take at night before bed. Um, so we take, it's a little messy, but yeah, we take some chlorophyll. I take black cherry concentrate. I put a little in his too, but I take this for inflammation because I have fibromyalgia. Some vitamin D3. Some garlic for my hair, skin and nails because my hair has been falling out postpartum. And this stuff right here is called golden milk. So it has turkey tail, um, lion's mane, ashwagandha, um, turmeric, and then I added some black pepper because black pepper absorbs all the nutrients from turmeric. So people learn about turmeric, but they don't realize that you have to take a little bit of black, just a tiny bit of black pepper with it, or your body doesn't absorb all the nutrients. So I wanted to show all moms this. I mean, if you like to take natural organic stuff as vitamins, like get your vitamins from natural sources, this brand's actually really good. Um, I take this at night. I love it because it's calming. And especially for people who have like fibromyalgia or any kind of like chronic illness that causes pain, magnesium is really, really good. And this is a really good brand. I take this every night. It does help calm and relax me, um, and it tastes really, really good. You can actually, it tells you you can put this over some ice cream or your favorite dessert. And then, obviously, um, pre-pregnancy, um, you still need to take a multivitamin, I mean a prenatal. So this is, because I have anemia, so I need iron. Um, but this is also a prenatal and postnatal berry flavor. It tastes really well, I shouldn't say really good, but it tastes pretty decent. Um, I like to take a lot more liquids than I do um, pills because I have a raw stomach. So I try to take a lot of my vitamins through liquid. But this stuff is pretty good. Um, and iron, liquid iron absorbs into your system a lot faster. But just don't forget to take a vitamin C because vitamin C helps absorb iron. But I just figured I would show you mom sis since I'm kind of showing you my nighttime vitamin routine. Um, another thing that I put on me, which is not really um, organic, but again, I have fibromyalgia and sometimes I just have to do what I have to do to help. But I put this stuff on my um, my neck and any joints that hurt you. And if you have like any inflammation in the body, this stuff is pretty, pretty good. Um... I put this on my husband's back one time because he had hurt his back and he said it helped him pretty okay but yeah show you that but not least I take some other vitamins here but it's late and I'm really really tired so I will show you guys these vitamins like another time um, but this is pretty much my last nightly routine that I take me and my husband um but i will show you guys everything that i take as far as that's in here later so i'm going to bed and i'll talk to you guys later Mwah. good night beanie babies I am exhausted. The babies are tired. Hubby's tired. But we had a wonderful time visiting the grandparents. 
so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye baby babies